Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another season 10 educational gameplay guide guys. Today we're going to cover Jin 80 carry. In my opinion, if you can master Jin, Jin is such a good AD carry guys. I recommend him for solo queue a lot because he's a really good AD carry at the moment. It's a pretty safe pick in laning phase and he's pretty good in like mid late game as well. He just fits in like so many team comps as well. But anyways guys, you can find the full runes as well as the full build. You can find the best setup, everything in the description guys. Definitely make sure to check that out. Okay, so the way how I usually play Jin is pretty simple. Uh, I usually try to play as aggressive as possible. Of course, it kind of depends on like the matchup you're up against. For instance, right now we're up against Caitlyn, we're up against Senna. They're both like pretty high range, so it's pretty hard for us to like poke them down. My support's gonna have to relax because it's been like poked quite a lot actually. Wow, okay. He's gonna have to help me out if I wanna see us properly on our tower. But anyways guys, every single time that Caitlyn and Senna is gonna go for a CES, you either wanna try to drop down your Q or get like a possible free auto attack off. Let's take that one real quick. There we go. This guy's actually low enough. Only a single auto attack with my passive and we could do so much damage with it. Alright, I guess that's not going to be the case. So, whenever your passive is about to be up, uh, like, uh, I mean, your fourth shot, you want to look for, like, a potential trade, because that's, like, your highest damage. I might actually get a... Wait. Oh, I got him. That's really nice. We could maybe get this one, too. Okay. Okay. We got the flash on Kate Lane and we got the kill on the support. That was really well played. So Jin perfectly works out um, with supports that generally have a lot of CC. If they happen to get like a really good CC catch on the opponent, uh, you could actually pull your W on them immediately and get like a free kill. That's why Jin AD carry is like such a good pick at the moment because he both works very well in the laning phase and he works very well in like the mid late game as well. I think she got a, that one off. Okay. If I hit that W right there, that would have been like really good. I'm just gonna push in the lane right now. I just wanna reset the lane, that's literally all. I have to reset it so we can actually buy an item right now. Good. That's really good. That's another catch. This is exactly why I recommend Jin on AD carry so much because there's a lot of supports that work really well with Jin uh, in the patch that we are living in today, guys. Cause six is actually nearby. He's in the river at the moment, so we do have to be a little careful about the enemy jungler. All right. There we go. And now we can go back. We can already start off with a BF sword. That's insanely good. If you can actually manage to buy the BF sword on Jin at the first back, and like five minutes in, that means that you're going to be really far ahead. We got that one. That's pretty sweet. But I would also recommend buying all the time, guys. If you're playing AD carry Jin, you always want to look into buying the revealable potion if you can, because you're obviously going to be trading quite a lot with Jin, and always having like two potions with the available potion is always and always good to have, guys. Always recommend this. Good. So now all I have to do is wait for my support to actually get a catch with the CC again, and we might even get like another catch. First though, we do have to reset the wave again. That's a pretty nice one. Very, very nice. Our support is definitely getting like a lot of um, Qs off, which is really nice. Oh, he didn't get that one. Okay, no problem. So we kind of want to put the lane into like slow pushing mode and we also want to get like the fourth shot. So I'm just kind of like pushing the lanes very, very, very slowly. Okay, we got the fourth shot, so we drop it down in the sky, we immediately do the W. 
if we actually managed to hit that W, we could have actually all in these guys immediately. We could have. All right. No problem. We can still get him. There we go. That's going to be another Q. Dude, drop like the E down as well. Okay. I could have done like an auto Q if I was a little bit uh, faster with it. One auto attack and Q is required. Only that with my fourth shot. Hello, Kazix. Yeah, we know you're here. Okay. Do like an extra auto attack. Why not? So, we're currently wasting the time of Kha'Zix. He's not able to get us at all. And we're also taking the Twisted Fate down here, which uh, didn't catch us. So, basically, we just spent about two people, <laughs> two men of their time. And they haven't got a single kill. That's really good. We just have to uh, relax right now. I wish I could get that CS, but I can't get close right now. Because Kha'Zix is right now. He's here. No problem. Dodge the, the Q. Kha'Zix is actually still bot lane. Because he just shown up right here. We still can't move up. Because we know that the jungler is here. As long as the jungler doesn't show up. We are not able to do anything. At all. So we're just going to sit here for a while. good there we go oh we actually got that one and there we go we got it so now we just have we want to push down the lane as quickly as we can because the enemy team is actually resetting right now it's not really that hard to do on Jin either Like, the wave clear of Jin is also the, one of the things which I just like about Jin. You can reset the lane really fast with Jin uh, by doing your odd attacks and. Um, wait, let me get that one. Sweet. You actually have insane wave clear control on Jin, and that's like one of the things which Jin <laughs> excels at. So, not only does he have a really long range which you can use to win your lane, but we like. Being able to reset it, being able to like constantly push in over and over again, as well as having like such a good team fighting in mid late game, it, it makes this champion perfect to play. It's just the perfect champ. <clears throat> uh, let me quickly place down a ward right here. There we go. Also, I'm placing down like an E right here. You never know. So now it's just a matter of my support making like one CC, one stun. And then I will like follow up. Oh, she gets hit. I'll just place a ward down just so we can see them coming. Good. So the lane is in a perfect spot right now because, um, oh wow. I'm trying to explain so much, actually missing farm. Good. We've put the lane in a spot where the enemy jungler cannot gank, and we also make it like gankable for my own jungler. We do have to like get like one stun right now on them, and that's it. If my support can land one stun, they will die instantly. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. Got both the CC. She actually plays with like bone planning. That's so strange. Okay, here comes the moment. Thank you. And we got both of them. So, you could exactly see the way how I use my ultimate every single time. People mainly want to dodge your ultimates, 
but if you constantly shoot into the same direction like you did before so you're basically shooting in the same spot people are often sitting in the exact same spot so you will land like all of your shots pretty easily that's the way how I always hit my shots. I wait for the right moment. I shoot them all to the same spot and people are often dodging so much that you will hit all of them. It's a pretty simple way to uh, get easy shots down. Okay. My, my jungler just ran off the other way. That could have been a free kill right there. Okay. Uh, he will have to tank the the Caitlyn ult for me if she decides to. Good. I, I even still had like two of my revealable potions there. Nice. We've already got this item, so now we can buy boots as well. Very good. Uh, I would actually love to get like these boots here. Nice. <clears throat> okay, so with the boots, there's like many things you can do. You you could actually go for mercs on Jin. You could also go for ninja tabis on Jin. It kind of depends on the game. However, for this game in specific, I think boots of swiftness. I think it's perfect against their team because I don't really need mercs against her, but I also don't really need to have something else. Okay, I could have done like an auto. Let's see what I can do here. She's tanking everything. Okay. That's fine with me. I think if I had done like an auto attack with my fourth shot, I think we would have done so much more. We would take less damage and uh, do more. Nice. We just have to get the tower right now, that's all. Perfect. Now let's get this kill. Let's get these kills. If my jungler decides to come bot lane right now, we could easily get like a couple of kills. Okay, let's dive him. He's gonna jump. Or not. At least we have that kill right there. I could just also pop my W. That would be really good too. Okay, I missed that one. We still got all of the kills. That was a really good call by my jungler. So, this is the kind of way how you want to play Jin in the laning phase, guys. You just want to play as aggressive as you possibly can. Of course, it kind of depends on the matchup though. But generally, you want to play as aggressive as you can. Okay, this guy has no problem for us. Dropping down the, the Q. Okay. Oh, he's flashing actually for this. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. He's actually using flash for this. Kind of my mistake, because I was standing there for a little bit too long. Didn't expect like a flash to come up. Okay. As for the trinket, you want to get like a far side alteration. It's pretty much standard on the AD carries. You generally always want to get the blue one because it obviously helps you being able to ward the brushes where somebody might potentially be. I don't really ever recommend going for the uh, for this one or for the yellow one. It's just better to have this one because you don't have to get close to the brushes if you want to get if you want to eventually get in there. Quadra kill. Okay. Well, that's that's quite interesting. This guy actually getting Quadra. Instead of just poking back to lane yet, I'll just quickly uh, get this camp over here. Nice. Why not? Very good. If you're not really doing anything around the map, if there's completely nothing to do around the map, then I would also recommend, like, all the time, 
just farming jungle camps until something happens on the map. That's generally something you want to do in AD carry quite a lot. Uh, let me quickly place a ward down here. I'll be taking the farm in the mid lane until something good happens around the map, which I could rotate into. We could catch uh, these guys right here. Let's see about it. Thank you. Uh, okay. I didn't see the Twisted Fate ult. I did hear the sound, but I couldn't actually hear where he was gonna go. I didn't see him in the brush. I could have actually moved backwards pretty fast with with the movement speed. Like after auto attacking Jax, I could easily run off, but I didn't see him. That's unfortunate. I could have been alive right there, and I could have just ran. If only I actually saw him. Yep. Quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. Alright. So, as the game currently stands right now, top lane is being pushed all the way. Bot lane is being pushed all the way as well. Uh, the best thing that we could possibly do at this moment is to force the hero as quickly as we can. And then use that to push down other lanes. So, let's make the call right here. We're going to go to the hero and we're going to take it. We have to make a move in the early game because... If this game stalls out to like mid late game, we will have problems due to them having like uh, jacks and stuff, which scales pretty well. All right. It seems like the enemy team doesn't have an any idea that we're actually taking this. Good. I'll just take it for myself. Let's go top. Let's help out this uh, Mordecaster on the way. Okay. I could just spawn it. Let's see what we can do right here. Oh, we actually didn't. We didn't get it. Okay. We have to run from this one right now. Kha'Zix is on the way at the moment with the uh, mobility boots. So we gotta run fast. I don't think he's going to be here, right? I don't think he will be. But I do have to be safe. I'll just be taking this camp here right now. We only need to have 200 more gold in order to get um, the Infinity Edge. So I'll just quickly get this one. There we go. And now we can make our way back. The dragon will spawn in 10 seconds and we have to be there because dragons are really important at the moment. That will help us like being able to scale a little bit better. There we go. Let's go to the jungle immediately. There's actually a fight here at the moment. That's a nice catch. Okay. I highly doubt that they will do the dragon. I highly doubt it. Okay. Didn't actually hit him, actually. Huh, I didn't hit him. Nice. That's, that's really good. So now we can force the dragon as well. We will take that immediately. Just dropping down an E right here. Sweet. We're now at level 11 too. That's that's exactly what we want here, guys. Yes, I got the cannon. So now we have to push in lanes. We have to push. We have to find a way to win the early game. We have to find a way to finish off the mid game because the late game is going to be really hard for us. Really, really hard. We have to find a way right now. 
So that's what we're going to focus on. I'm constantly looking at the map to see where Mordecaster is because he's pushing in the lane right now. We have to move our way up uh, up there as soon as he starts fighting. Let's go. Immediately rushing down bot lane so maybe we could get the tower right there. It's quite unfortunate that my team has actually got caught right now. Like one of us. Because that might delay this. Okay, that's really good. We're actually being catched by these guys right now. I don't think... Yeah, he's running off. Okay. That's good because we got another tower right now. I don't think he's gonna come back. No. Okay. So once again, we've managed to get another tower. All we need right now is to push down mid lane and wait for the next dragon, which will be like the Inverno one. Uh, nice. We get some more crit. We might as well just sell this and like, get the attack speed, even though it's not really that useful, I know, but we got something. Okay, so we got the top tower. We have bottom tower. All we need right now is to push down mid lane and start a fight as five man. We should be able to win this. Okay. It was unfortunate I didn't see it. There we go. These guys are all grouping around top side. We should be able to get something done right here. I have no idea what this guy's doing, but Okay. Uh, I'm not going to force it. Yeah, okay, we have to wait a little bit. I got my fourth shot ready, but they're obviously not going to fight me. Good. Let's push it another way. We just want to farm up as we just want to farm up that's all we want to do at the moment and uh group then very soon it would be great if we could like group mid lane as five man right now and just force because i'm really strong at the moment nice five man mid lane would be perfect Let's go. Got my fourth shot already. Of course, they will get it with their autos, but I'm just trying to buy some time here. Okay, let's see what I can do. If I pop my ultimate right now, we could force a fight pretty easily. Gonna focus the Kaylin with my ult. There's the twisted fade. Would be really good if we could get like a catch. Wow. Wow. Kazix was just there waiting for me. <laughs> Alright. That's that was a really good play. That was a really good play there. I gotta say it though, that was a really good play. Okay. They might actually get the dragon right now since they just won like an entire fight. But the ultimate which I did was pretty perfect because Jax and Caitlyn were completely off here. Like they completely fell off uh, all the way to their side. But obviously I didn't see the Kha'Zix there coming. That was pretty smart. I was standing on the back lane, so I uh, should have been safe, but he just knocked me out right there. No problem, though. 
Okay, just we just have to farm it up again. And then go back mid lane once more. And then hopefully get like a really good team fight. Because we're still a lot stronger than they are. Despite uh, have them having the dragon at the moment. Get this camp here as well. Thank you very much. I need like slightly more for my next item right now, which is going to be the rapid fire cannon. Good. Make our way back, and then we're going to group up again. Twisted Fate is coming top set at the moment, but I got my support with me. Okay, so now. If we group up as mid lane and we force that mid lane, we should be able to win the next upcoming team fight pretty easily with Mordekaiser as well. I've got my items. We should be able to win pretty easily, so we just have to force an objective at the moment. That's all there is to it. Yep, there it is. Thank you. You see the amount of damage that we have? That's just how Jin works. We have loads of damage. That's why I want to group right now and just force objectives. Good. I don't know what this guy's going to do, but... Okay, let's push. Twist Fate is put, like, pushing top side. I'll just, like, force... Quickly get that one. There we go. There isn't much happening on the map right now, so I'll just quickly go down bot lane as well. Cause six is still dead, so they would never start to bear him right now. Nice. Okay, I'm we're getting that camp. We are really strong at the moment. You see the damage we have, guys. You see what we have here. Good. There's about to be a fight starting off very soon. The only thing we, we shouldn't worry about, like, that we have to worry about is Kha'Zix. Because he could kill us with a, in a single second. get that one for myself I'm a little bit scared that they might come here all right we don't have any vision we need the people to like walk up for us Mordekaiser is currently sitting AFK in base this guy's <laughs> sitting AFK in base when they're taking the Baron uh, I don't know what he's doing well, that's, that's a really good moment to go AFK. Okay. I'll have my last whisper right now. Nice. Come on, Mordecaster, come back. We need him. Not right now, please. <laughs> All right. How long is it going to take before he finally comes back? We'll find out. Still AFK. Uh, we need to, without Mordekaiser, it's going to be... It's, it's impossible. Yeah, okay. Where is this guy? Oh, okay, people are being catched. Okay. My top laner is being AFK and my teammates are getting catched. Getting called, all of them. What a sad way. Wow, are we actually going to lose the game? 
Because somebody is AFK? That's really sad. Yes. We're losing this game because this guy is AFK. Okay. Guys, I don't know what I'm witnessing lately, but people are going AFK so much. We just lost because somebody went AFK for the rest of the game. That's quite sad. It is what it is. People going AFK. It's pretty normal nowadays. Despite winning really hard, he just went AFK. We were winning really hard. I was really far ahead, but he just decides to go AFK. For the rest of the game. It is what it is. Anyways, this is how you play Jin in the laning phase, guys. This is exactly how you want to play Jin in the team fights. Uh, how you want to catch people, but mainly the laning phase, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys have learned something. You can, once again, you can find the Furuns for build. You can all find it in the description. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching today, and I'll catch you guys up in the next episode. Peace.